Hi, I'm Dr. John Hovanesian. In this video, we'll take a look at how we perform modern cataract surgery using small incision techniques with phaco emulsification ultrasound and the use of an accommodating lens implant called the crystal lens. Please be warned that if you're squeamish about watching eye surgery, this video might not be for you. First, an anatomy lesson so you'll understand what you're seeing. A cataract develops when the internal focusing lens of the eye gradually becomes cloudy with age. This lens sits inside of a very thin, clear capsule or skin that's directly behind the iris, which is the colored part of the eye. In front of the iris is a space filled with water called the anterior chamber, and in front of that is the eye's front window called the cornea. In a modern cataract procedure, the surgeon removes the lens of the eye through an opening in the front of the lens capsule. This leaves behind the capsule itself, and into this capsule we put a new lens implant that will remain in the eye for good. The whole challenge in cataract surgery is to remove the lens without damaging the lens capsule. Here's how we do it. Cataract surgery begins with a small incision, usually to the surgeon's left, through which a gel-like material called viscoelastic is placed inside the eye. Next, a second larger incision, about 2.7 millimeters in size, is made, and through this incision most of the work of cataract surgery will be accomplished, including capsulorexis, a step where a fine pair of forceps is used to tear a circular opening in the front of the lens capsule. This circular opening must be continuous to maintain the strength of the edge of the capsule that is torn, and this allows the surgeon to remove the lens from within the capsule. We do this by separating the lens from the capsule with hydrodissection. In this step, balanced salt solution is injected to separate the capsule from the lens. This allows the lens to be rotated freely separate from the lens capsule. Next, we remove the lens by chopping it into several segments using two instruments. First is a blunt-ended needle, which has a white silicone sleeve around it. This needle oscillates at 40,000 hertz, which breaks up the lens of the eye into tiny pieces. Vacuum, or suction, through the needle allows the pieces of the lens to be removed bit by bit. The sleeve around it infuses balanced salt solution into the eye to allow the eye's shape to be maintained. The second instrument, which has a blunt ball tip and a slight bend to the end of the instrument, allows the surgeon a second hand inside the eye to rotate tissues, to manipulate them, to break them up, and to feed them toward the needle, which is bit by bit removing the lens material from the eye. Although this video has been edited, we're seeing this lens removal process more or less in real time. As we remove the lens of the eye, we can get a clearer view of the red reflex or the red light that comes back to us from the microscope light, and this is just a reflection from the retina. We're seeing this now because the cloudy cataract, which is being removed bit by bit, allows light to pass through the eye more clearly. As the last bits of the nucleus, or central part of the lens, are removed here, we can not only see that the capsule around the nucleus of the lens is still intact, but also that there are some subtle remnants of lens material, whispery, feathery pieces, that need to be removed in the next step, which is called irrigation aspiration. These pieces of lens cortex are now removed using a silicone sleeve around an instrument with a much smaller opening. We want to have great control of the amount of tissue removed here so that we don't damage the lens capsule. So this irrigation aspiration tip is placed near the pieces of cortex that remain, and then using a foot switch to control the vacuum, the surgeon can gently vacuum the back capsule of the lens of the eye. We then place the viscoelastic, the dense clear material that holds the lens capsule into its shape, inside the capsule, and next we take the lens implant here a crystal lens, which has been folded, and we inject it into the eye using an instrument that allows it to be directed right into the center of the lens capsule where it will remain for the rest of the patient's life. The lens is then manipulated using the irrigation aspiration material, and the viscoelastic material is removed. Here we rotate the lens around, and I believe this step is important because it allows the lens to find its final position in the ideal location in the equator of the lens capsule. 
It also allows us fully to remove any of the viscoelastic material and to loosen any final lens cortex that remains in the capsule. At the end of the procedure, we intentionally cause swelling in the cornea around the wound that was placed in the eye, and this will seal the wound to prevent leakage of fluid out or fluid into the eye. Occasionally, we put a suture in the main incision just to be absolutely sure that this wound is sealed so that the lens will stay in its proper position and all fluids will remain inside the eye and nothing from the outside will get in. This simple step takes just a moment and the suture will be removed the day after surgery. Occasionally it can cause some irritation on the day of surgery but is otherwise very innocuous and well tolerated. I'm Dr. John Hovanesian. Thanks for watching.